in question 3 there is a path x is equal to y square minus 6y plus 8. So if we observe here we are basically saying x is a function of y and that function is quadratic we have y square minus 6y plus 8. So we are now switching the axis and so our parabola is expected to look something like this or like this because this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now we see that the coefficient of y square which is a is 1 and b is minus 6 the coefficient of y and lastly the constant term c is 8. Since a is greater than 0 we expect that this is an upturn parabola. In the case of upturn in x what we mean is it is towards the positive x axis. So our parabola is expected to be something like this. Of course it could be moving about we don't know where exactly it cuts the axis or where the point is and for that we will have to go further they are saying there's two stops on the line x is equal to 0 that is on y axis and of course these will be this point and this point basically if we looked at it in terms of our standard y is equal to f of x these are what are the roots of our equation and rov's home is at the origin rov lives at the origin so this is where rov is how much minimum distance will rov have to cover in order to catch the train so the question is simple you have two roots for your x is equal to f of y and these roots will be on the y axis now because we have switched the axis and which root is closer to rov's home that is which root is closer to the origin so let us try to find out now let us try to plot this particular graph and let's see where the two train stops are from the equation we know that the vertex will be minus b by 2a which is again uh, minus 6 by 2 that is 3 so here we are basically saying y is equal to 3 is the vertex so this is 1 this is 2 then this is our y is equal to 3 and thus the vertex will be along the line y is equal to 3. The axis of symmetry is y is equal to 3. So this is our axis of symmetry y is equal to 3. And for plotting the graph we are now going to look at various points which will be 3 and 1 to the other side of 3 2 and 1 to this side of 3 4 and then 5 and then 1 this should give us a reasonable idea of what the graph looks like so f of 3 at the vertex what is the x coordinate that would be f of 3 is equal to 9 minus 18 plus 8 which is minus 1. So x is equal to minus 1 which is going to be somewhere around here. This is our vertex and f of 2 will be equal to f of 4 because of symmetry. So if I just substitute 2 I will get 4 minus 12 plus 8 which is equal to 0. Okay that's good. So we now have our roots. We know that on to this point and at 4 our curve is going to intersect the y axis. So if you want we can further look at what is f of 1 which is also equal to f of 5 and that is going to give us 1 minus 6 plus 8 which is 3. So we are going to be somewhere over here for these two points we are going to get somewhere here and thus our quadratic 
parabola looks like this. And we know for a fact that the roots are y is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4. Clearly, y is equal to 2 is closer to the origin. So, the minimum distance that R will have to cover is 2 units. That is from the origin to this particular point and this is the distance he will have to cover. 